<sighs> Fuck. Perspective. That has been on the forefront of my mind. perspective. I don't have a whole lot of that right now and I'm curious, interested in doing more digging on that subject matter. That's the fucking logical brain, right? That's the logical brain saying, hey, you haven't really thought about it this way, now have you? When my... I need to come up with a name for that brain. Lizard brain wants to dig a hole, bury myself, and escape into the next life because that's all what that's what we're doing here, right? We're preparing ourselves for the next life over and over and over and over again. When <clears throat> When being present is so fucking difficult. And I have to wonder because I can't seem to think about anything else, to be honest, is why is it so fucking difficult to be present? When all I want to do, and I'm not alone, is escape. I'm not alone. <sighs> Grace, guys. Grace, guys, today. You know, looking up. <sighs> it's a concept. Looking ahead is harder. for me to be doing. I am currently in my vehicle that happens to still function on my way to employment where I'm still employed. Equinox. <sighs> That's the car I wanted. I wanted the fucking Equinox. No. <sighs> and 
And now I see Equinox everywhere I look. His fucking car. His Equinox, my Equinox, little Equinox family. That's what I wanted. They say that when you joke about something, it's real. So, that was my little joke. Daddy Equinox, Mommy Equinox. I wanted his baby so much. I wanted to be pregnant so much. My body rejected that notion. <sighs> I'm pleased that it decided to rebel. <laughs> I am. <sighs> I'm processing an identity crisis. Uh, that's the volcano underneath everything. And... I don't know where to start. I really don't. I really don't. In a particular way, I don't know how to exist without myself constantly open, constantly available, constantly ready to meet the needs of everyone around me. When I overlook my own needs, and I feel like overlook is the perfect word, because it's not that I am ignoring my needs. I'm actually working very hard on um, articulating my needs to myself. So that I can better fulfill those expectations. The expectation of feeding myself, drinking water every day, having a purpose every day, having intention. Because my brain is always so chaotic, but I mean, maybe uh, mm, having that routine will quiet my mind. Maybe that's all I really need. There's a quiet mind. Fuck. Okay. Wow. Which is why I'm very interested in an antipsychotic, which scares the fuck out of me. Scares the absolute fuck out of me that I'm even considering an antipsychotic. But, um, thankfully, I have a psychologist, so we'll see what she thinks about that. 
um, I'm currently draining the rest of the prescriptions that I currently have. Um, I think I fell into a hole because I stopped one medication uh, before the cycle ended because I was trying to um, supplement it, was trying to replace it, and you, you can't just do that. <laughs> can't just go fucking cold turkey off of these types of meds, especially to the level of which I um, have them. Uh, thankfully, you know, my doctors are willing to start on a low dose, but that low dose starts at 150 milligrams. I mean, for them, that might be a low dose, but that is, um, you know, catastrophic to my insides at this moment in time. So I need to be um, vigilant in what I'm doing to my own um, uh, body chemistry. Yeah. All right. Well then. Uh, this was very helpful. Fuck you. But, um, you know, it works if you work it. So, I get to fucking work it. Mm. Hmm. I get to work. to make money. I get to um, sustain my living another day. Another day. <laughs>